Daisy. Okay. Okay. We're all muted. That's good. Um, so tonight we are talking about uh, sales systems. Yes. So now we're talking about sales systems. So as we know, PRV is the lifeblood of our businesses. It is what keeps us going. It's what brings in new customers, brings in potential new recruits. It is the foundation of everything that we do. Um, one of the great things that we've always loved about Sensi is that it's a product first company. So our focus is on selling a product um, and then everything else kind of flows on after that. Some companies focus on joining, recruiting, that kind of thing and rewarding that. But Sensi is fantastic in that it is all based around our sales. Um, so tonight we've asked the SSDs in the group to come on and to share with us some of their systems. So you might be saying, what is the importance of a sales system? Can I just talk to whoever I come in contact with about what Sensi is and what we can offer? But having a system and having, um, having a system and having kind of a process around how you do what you do um, will make you way more efficient in what you do and it'll make, because obviously we've all got limited time. We're all kind of strapped for what we're doing. We're juggling lots and lots of different things in lots of different areas. Um, so having a sales system around what you do will help you to be more efficient and more effective in the time that you do devote to your Sensi business. So we've asked our SSD to come on and share with us a little bit about that. We are going to start with yeah. Bubba. So um, Bubba, Am I saying this bit now? Yeah, you can tell it. Yes. I never know. I don't have very clear instructions from Cindy and she thinks I have a lot more initiative than I do, but I don't. So, <laughs> Bubba, so we're talking about consistency and systems in our sales. Um, Bubba last month sold 9, 000, over 9,700 PRV. Not a bad effort. Um, not bad at all. Do you want to introduce all of them in order so we could just flow? Sure. Then we then we will hear from Pua. Pua last month sold over 4,100 PRV. It's a great job. Uh, we will then hear from Jenny, who sold 2,571 PRV. And Cindy will be last. Yeah. And um, Paul, not Paul, um, Lolo sends her regards. She couldn't make the call. She was going to come on, but she's had a last minute emergency. Yep. So so from those numbers, you can see Cindy sold over 6,100, 6,000, just over 6,000 last month too. So from those numbers, you can see that our SSDs have consistently high PRV. Um, that is because of the systems that they have, even if they didn't know they had a system. Um, but it is because of the systems that they use that help them get consistent PRV and be successful. So we will give the time to Bubba. I'm going to find Bubba here. Hopefully people can hear us, but there's people saying you can't hear you. Can everyone hear us? Okay, that's a must be just then. Okay. Turn your volume up. Okay. Turn the... the um, so that's a Bubba. So we'll... Bubba. And you're making the host. Yes, and you're screen sharing. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to make I you the say, host. Atta is looking very young. Is that because you shaved the mo? Is that? Don't you think it's shaved a few years off? If you can call Just it a mo. Say... <laughs> he does. He's looking very Same young. Time. You're making a blush, Cindy. <laughs> He's only twenty-one. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey guys. Um, so as you all know, oh, some of you, sorry, me. some of you probably don't know us. So my name is Baba. This is Atta, my husband. We live in Alice Springs. We're super star directors for Team Mana Ainga. So um, again, thank you to Cindy and Andrew for um, giving us this opportunity to share our sales system and how we work um, the sales side of our business. Who's not on mute? 
Lodge, so yeah. Dow Point. Um, I just gotta figure out how to do it again. I think I just do it right there. Can you see that? Yep, okay, awesome. Um, and we just go, where is it? Okay. Who's not on mute? Oh, they're on mute now. Okay, so um, uh, we have um, something that we call um, all the things list in our business. So these are all the different um, things that we do. Sale systems yeah. that we use um, in order to get PRV. Um, yeah, in order to get PRV. So it's called all the things list, but because it's a PowerPoint, we're just going to call it all the things. So the first one that we're going to touch on is so basket, bag, and parties. Um, some of this might be a bit pretty simple to everyone, but um, it might be new to others. So we're still going to share it. So basket parties. Um, so we basically ask friends and families, um, strangers, if they would like to borrow our bag and basket parties. Um, this is probably not one of our strongest um, sort of sales system within our business. We, um, I mean, Atta works a lot to try and get um, our bag and basket yeah. parties Usually what out. I do is I, I carry probably two of these bags inside my work car. And when I go to see schools, um, different, clients. different clients, I just ask them if I could just put them in there. Yeah, and he does. And yeah. um, people do take them, and but a lot of times they give it back, and there's no orders, which is fine. It's all about planting the seed. So that's one of the um, yeah, one of the things that we do, even though it's not successful yet. We know that it's something that we can build but on. It, yeah, but you do get sales from, but you don't get a lot. But so it's randomly. Not, it's not yeah. A fail. Oh yeah. Sorry, yeah. not a fail. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's something that we know that we can work on and um, keep on doing and eventually, um, you know, it, it'll grow. Um, the next one that we also do is, so the out. Um, as we all know, we have a Yep, you're on mute now. Um, yep, so the pulpit pouch is basically a way that um, we're able to utilize our um, pet range um i've always been a person who's like afraid of animals so um i'm not really the type to sort of go into pet shops and you know um make <laughs> direct contact but i find that this is an awesome way to be able to um market our pet range to a lot of our customers who um have fur babies um and it's also um a, a popular one so yeah that's definitely one that we do we try and do it every month um the next one is so mystery boxes. Um, this is probably the biggest um, PRV. Um, what's the word? PRV that we get in our business. Um, when we first started Sensi, mystery box was my thing. I loved doing mystery boxes. It was a way that I know I could sort of um, just share part of me, and I put a lot of my heart mm -hmm. into um, my work. And mm -hmm. so. Yeah, with mystery boxes, it's like, you know, you'll feel complete. Like, and um, I think that's where a lot of people Yeah, they enjoy yeah. doing them. So um, the way that we do our mystery boxes, so we can probably have anything between four to like seven mystery boxes going in a month, which is a lot of work. But um, again, um, you know, it's, you put in the work and you so um, when we do our mystery boxes so we um, we have adult and kids mystery boxes men and ladies boys and girls uh, we choose a theme that is catchy but also relates a theme that can relate to um, current catalog um, products so um, again if we have a kids mystery box we'll always have a boys and a girls option so you can up market because um, obviously everyone has you know not just boys or girls um, it's mixed um, and the same with men's and ladies as well and also um, a really good thing to take on board is when uh, you have like different events or um, sorry I keep saying um different events that happen um, on the calendar take note of it and then that's also a pretty good thing that you could use uh, you know as a theme for your mystery boxes um, another one we also do is scent of the month um, wax bar club so everybody knows that we get a new scent of the month each month and um, this is a pretty popular one with our customers. Um, although I think it was the March scent of the month wasn't very popular. <laughs> um, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Buzzworthy. It didn't go down well with our poor customers. Um, yeah, but. <laughs> Where's my tablet? Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, um, I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm going to say 30. Can I watch it? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so definitely, um, yeah, send on the market. Utilise that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah these, um, and because it's on special as well, um, yeah, I mean, you know, customers always love a discount. And then personal special bundles. So um, we always do the personal specials on um, WIFs, um, bundles and room space. So like the popular products that we know our customers love. Um, these are the personal specials that um, you can, you actually use the host credits um, and real host rewards to um, bring the this up to discount for your customers. So um, our customers love it. These are really good PRV boosters as well. Um, next one. Sorry. And another big um, PRV um, booster for us is the personal customer order. So basically sharing Sensi with everyone. Um, I have a new eyebrow lady. I had never met her before. When I went in, I took a, a wax bar, a two wax bars and a warmer. And I said to her, feel free to borrow it. Let us know how it goes. Um, and, you know, you have people coming through, new customers and whatnot coming through her business and they can smell it and see the product. Yeah, so also leave, like, free marketing. Cards. Yep. So yeah, I left, I left the business card and also catalog with her. The same with the hairdresser. Never met her before. Took a warmer wax bar um, catalog business card. Left it there. She instantly fell in love. So it's always about planting that planting that seed. Even if you don't get an order straight away, um, you know it could be just think later on. Um, mechanic as well for your husbands and partners or whoever takes the car to get fixed or serviced, um, you know, give the car bars. Um, I know sometimes, you know, I mean, you can utilize your free host credits and stock up on, you know, if you have car bars around, um, yeah, give them to your mechanics. They can, you know, put them in cars as gifts or something like, you know, just, I think when you give, it comes back. <laughs> Um, the water meter guys, so we have a guy who always comes and checks the water meter. I always give him a car bar. Um, our air conditioning guy is um, amazing. He's a regular customer of ours now. He usually calls me up um, um, for gifts. So when his sister's birthday or his mum's birthday, he usually orders from us. Postman and lady, again, um, car bars are amazing to give to them. Um, a Kmart lady, so a lot of the Kmart ladies here in Alice Springs know me. Um, they know when I come through to buy gift bags and ribbons and you know tape and everything for our um, oh sorry oh my gosh how do you go back <laughs> yeah so yep yeah, so they know see me a lot of shopping and you know, my toilet is always full of gift bags and wrapping paper and everything so um again it's another opportunity to talk about sensi because they're like oh you're here again what are you doing now what mystery box are you doing now um it's just having that you know interaction and then also as um our accountant as well <laughs> Uh, the place that we always leave, uh, we've left the Walmart catalogs and um, wax bars with, you know, it's just businesses that, you know, that have a lot of traffic that come through. Utilize that because, you know, when, when they're okay for you to leave uh, products with them um, and to, you know, use them, um, obviously other people will come through and ask and, you know, you've got your information there ready for them to pass on. Um, and then teamwork is a big one. So Atta and I work pretty well together with him um, you know, through his job, he still promotes our business. So again, like he takes. Yeah, the, what I do is um, I I wash my clothes with the whiffs every night before I go to work, and everyone says, "Oh man, your clothes smell nice." Yeah. So then I just give them catalogs, um, business cards, um, let and, them let them smell the room sprays every now and then. Yeah. And then um, yeah, that's how we really get, work together. Um, yeah. Yeah. Get orders and stuff. Um, I also. Uh, planted the seed uh, about a year ago with someone and they just started ordering now. probably yeah, yeah a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. so um yeah we always talk about planting yeah, the and seed and, and since he's still fairly new here in Alice Springs so we utilize everything that we can um mm -hmm. to Right. Yeah, to get yeah get our name and get sensi out there um so yeah that's a really big one as um using your partners um yeah their work colleagues family I mean their friends and and whatnot um, and the next one is free sample packs. So for us, this is something that I'm going to be doing, uh, getting into again, only because a lot of our um, amazing customers have now joined Sensi, which means our sort of our customer list has sort of gone down. So this is a great way to network and get new customers and new people to, um, you know, to try Sensi. Uh, I do market our free sample packs on Marketplace. Um, and I guess in a way it's, 
people like people like me who I'm not confident just to walk up to anyone just start talking about Scentsy. Um, so I find that this way, uh, when you post it up on Marketplace that you have free sample packs available to get in touch if you want one, you actually have people reaching out to you if they're interested. And then that way you're able to, um, yeah, well, just get in touch with them. Um, you can also add them onto your um, VIP groups and they can become regular customers as well. So basically what we have now, free sample packs, what is that? Is um, just a catalog, business card, samples, a joint brochure, um, what is a Sensi flyer and then LTO flyers. So if we have any upcoming deals or promotions coming up as well. Um, and the next one, and the, yeah, not the final one, um, but follow-ups. Um, you guys will have heard um, Cindy talk about this a lot. Um, and Amy is an amazing app. I don't use, utilize it as much as I should, but um, when I do use it, we are guaranteed to get an order through um, through Amy. So they, they're amazing. Um, again, I'm that's something that I have to definitely put on my list to um, utilize a lot more this year for the rest of the year. And then again, Facebook as well for follow-ups. So you usually know. Ellen, be moi. <laughs> um, they didn't say. Sorry. Um, yeah. So Facebook again, a follow ups if your your usual customers on Facebook, and then um, and then Mailchimp, which is an amazing app for um, emailing. Um, yeah, that's another app that I don't utilize, but um, it's a great way to get um, information out there, and um, especially on new and upcoming products and when seasons are going out, etc. Did you talk about Outsendee? And then booking parties, which is the last one, and unfortunately not the one that I'm great at, but it's something that I definitely, again, want to, we want to work on. We actually finally got our first home party, um, what's the word? Someone reaching out to us via our PWS about hosting a party. So I was scared at first, but now I'm really excited because um, a lot of people in Alice Springs, it's a working town. Not many people have time to sort of do parties and. What, not whatever the excuses are, but um, I'm really excited to get into this home party and hopefully I know that this will definitely open up doors for us in our business. Again, um, a lot, like I said before, a lot of our customers have, have joined now, so we have to expand our network again and get out there. So um, again, booking parties is the best way to do that. Um, I've watched Cindy do it <laughs> crazy. She does amazing. Um, I mean, there's heaps of consultants who are really great at booking parties. Um, yeah, again, it's something that I have to work on. But um, um, yeah, um, yeah, so that's basically our sales system and how we work things. We don't do everything that's that we've shown you, but we try and fit as much as we can. And we always say to our team to fill up your calendars. If you want big PRV, I mean, it's not going to come easy. You're going to have to work for it. So, um, yeah, fill up your calendars and um, late nights and work <laughs> and keep sharing. Yeah, and keep sharing. But um, yeah, that's basically our <laughs> our sales system hope you didn't put anyone to sleep um yep that's it <laughs> who will pass it who is it now is it what yeah but do you want to make us the host again or yeah. you, oh, you guys, i'll make you the host yeah make host there you go thank Ooh. you thank you we'll mute everyone we can mute everyone. yeah oh. There's so many. Meet ourselves. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ginny, and I am the Superstar Director for Team Hashtag Blessed. Um, so, we're on here. Okay, to be honest, I just mm. finished talking with Y outside, and I'm like, what's our Zoom about again? <laughs> So I was taking, um, I was writing notes from Baba's um, um, preparation that she had, which was helpful for me. So I'm just gonna like, you know, not repeat what she said, even though in a way it is similar to how I work. Um, so my system is, sorry, so all, my kids and her son are all together and go do your job, girl. <laughs> Okay, so the guy looks right in the room. Okay, so um, I was kind of nervous about tonight because I 
I felt like I don't have a system in place. But then when Cindy explained to me, you know, just talk about how you do, you know, how do you get your PRV every month? And then that kind of helped me break it down. Sorry, hold on. I'll just close the door. I don't have a slideshow um, to share. I'm just looking at here. But um, pretty much the way, so I'm always aiming for monthly sales. Um, my PRV isn't massive, massive. If I get anything extra apart from 2,000 PRV, it's a blessing and I'm happy. But my goal is pretty much 2,000 PRV each month. So the way I work, the way I figure that out, so how I work is I always do it, I always prep for my month, my next month. So for example, September, I've already got stuff in place for September. So that's pretty much how I work. So last month I had stuff in place for August. Um, the way I work, um, I quickly found a calendar <laughs> during the Zoom. So I'm going to go, this is how I work. So back in, this is how I've always done it as well. And it's still a system that I keep going in the last two years. So I've got here the calendar for August, right? So, you know, in July, I would have looked in the August calendar and I would have worked out, okay, I'm going to put up, um, cause, oh, wait. So first of all, the way I used to run my business was mainly um, online parties and home parties. That was it before COVID came in. So I won't explain about what I used to do, but what I've been doing lately. So lately, because of COVID, um, everyone was obviously on lockdown before. And then when restrictions lifted, people are still kind of on lockdown. So what I've done is press, um, I've been working more on my mystery bags. Um, so what, would, what I will do, so last month, I would put up... Um, I usually, I mainly use Instagram because Instagram has been the biggest game changer for me ever since they implemented the music thing. And then, you know, I don't have to, because I am i don't do flyers at all. I suck at that. I only just learned how to use an app last month. So I use the Instagram, um, what do you call them? Like Polls. the Yeah, but you know when you do the nice writing? Fonts. So I don't, yeah. So I use the Instagram fonts. And so I always put up, like, who's, I always show my, can you guys stop? <laughs> Do I be professional here? <laughs> so I would use Instagram. Instagram has been the biggest game changer for me in my business. So what I would do, I will post up who's interested in a mystery bag because I'll have a photo from my last mystery bag. You know, I'll make sure it's a pretty photo and not my bogan photos. But um, I'll take a photo of that my customer has uploaded and I'll reshare that. And then um, because it looks, you know, attractive, um, people are like, yeah, yeah, put me down. So what I will do, I'll be like, okay, so on the first week, I'm going to process the order for the mystery bag. And then as soon as I, um, as soon as I place that order, and this is the thing, I always place my orders on Wednesday because I get money every Wednesday, uh, Logan's money. So because I get money every Wednesday, um, I can use the host rewards and I can pay for shipping if I haven't charged my customers. And so that way I've got money to play with. So that's why I always process my orders on Wednesdays. So on that Wednesday, as soon as I let my customers know that order has been placed, two hours later, I'm like, so who wants a mystery about, like I'll do something else for the following week. So what? that's how I pretty much fill up my calendar like every week, I, I try and aim for a bulk order every week and I pretty much do it every Wednesday. I don't know why I've been holding up that calendar for. Um, so I seen someone ask um, on Baba when she was talking about mystery bags, someone asked, um, how do you pick a theme? So for me personally, I go by what inspires me at that time. Um, so, for example, I've, lately I've been going through a bakery phase. So I've been loving all the bakery scents. So then I'll be like, I'm going to do a bakery, um, like a bakery theme mystery bag. And so, like, I will have people that weren't interested in the last one. They're more interested in the bakery. So I change it up all the time. Um, no mystery bags are the same for me. They're always different. So the last one I, I did, 
um, was a Christmas in July theme. Um, oh yeah, so it was last month. And that was um, a hit because um, I, so I did, um, Elisa's mom does baking. So I got her to bake some Christmas, you know, um, what, treats. And everyone um, jumped on board for my next mystery bag because they seen that I do treats. Little do they know it's not going to be the same mystery bag. So I'm always sharing my customers' um, feedback and their pretty pictures. And that's what's attracted more people to jump on board on my mystery bags. Um, the other thing I've got on at the moment, um, so one of Logan's friends, he asked me for car stuff and he's never bought off me. I don't even know him. Oh, sorry, Logan's my husband. So he asked me for some car samples. So I gave him a scent circle and I was just in a room spray. And then I thought about it, like he's a guy. And I think men are more into car stuff, eh? Mm. Yeah, I reckon men are more into car stuff. So I decided I'm going to put together like a car pack. So again, I used Instagram music and Instagram fonts. Just to, I'm trying to aim for more males and it worked because more males jumped on board. The other thing that um, really helps me with getting sales yeah. is when I do my posts um, in public and I'll be, you know, I'll post up a pretty picture of, so the last one I used um, a sensor picture of, huh? Yeah. I someone's not on mute. Oh, I thought someone said I was breaking out. So I used a pretty picture from Sensi and it was the um, the orange cover clip and had like keys on there. So I used that and I posted it on my um, my normal Facebook page. And the other thing that works for me is if I tag Logan in my post because he, he has friends that are not connected to me. So because people can see it, that I've posted it, that's another way that I've been able to... Um, I don't know, yeah, like get sales from outsiders besides people that are on my VIP. Um, wait, what else? I've gone way off track. I didn't even go by. So, yeah, so with mystery bags, I go by what inspires me at that time. Um, another thing that helps me with my PRB is branding myself. So I just recently got a, um, so besides all the t-shirts that we wear and the lanyards that we have, the Sensi lanyards, I just recently got my um, car, what's it called? The car sticker. Shout out to Laz who did it for me. Um, and so I had, so, you know, people that haven't bought off me, they've commented on it about it. And then that was my way of like, let me know if you want something, you know, it's, Branding has been a big help for me. Um, wait, what else? Get it, girl. You know what's missing? Awesome? Oh, what? On your sticker for your car? A photo of you. I need to lose weight, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, another thing that's made me consistent with my PRV is actually communicating with other consultants. So, a lot of Baba's ideas she shares it with us um you know we we talk a lot we talk too much every, every day, day. <laughs> every day the whole day and, it, and it's really helpful to feed off other people um so we're pretty i mean we're in totally two different teams like all three of us but we have we have so much respect for each other that we are willing to share you know what each other does and even with my own frontline and our team, like that's where a lot of my ideas and my inspiration comes from. So if I was to give any advice was to really communicate and have a relationship with your frontline and not only your frontline, but the whole team in general. Like I am actually always chatting to people in our team that's not my frontline, but um, we feed off each other in so they can say one little thing and then it'll give me a light bulb of you know what I want to do next. Um, so in the last couple of months, that is how I've been working my business. My mystery base have been a hit. I do want to go back to having parties. Um, I've actually been trying. Not a lot of people have been interested. So what did I do? I just put up an event that I'm having. Um, I'm going to open my house up for people to come over. I put in their bold caps free. 
like come eat for free. <laughs> um, like it was more, I don't know if that's desperation. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting desperate or, but it's more because I want to invite, this is for new people. I'm trying to get new customers. But I'm trying to invite them in. So if no one's going to host parties, then I have to host it myself. So that's what I do have planned um, at the moment for next month. Um, I have, I hit, I think I hit monthly sales. Um, I think it was last week. So whatever I get extra for the rest of the month, um, that's just a bonus. But, I have been trying to work for, uh, what month are we in next month? September now. So I don't know if that was helpful, but um, <laughs> but that's what I got to share. <laughs> okay, you're next. Yay, amazing. Can I just, oh, I look a bit dark. No, we here. can't fit together. So, you know, now we're moving, <laughs> moving around. Hi guys, my oh, name is Claire. Right? Um, yes, please, sis. I am. Um, Why do you need a metric? I am a one of the superstar directors for Marvel Center Family. Um, I'm just like Jenny. I had I come over here. The reason why I'm here is because my internet failed I me, mean, like failed me again. So with that, without our Wi-Fi, I can't actually do any work at at home. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna invite myself to Jenny's house because she has Wi-Fi. She's just down the road, and I need to jump on this training and do my job anyways um what's something that i do have a lot but bubba has touched base on a lot of the systems that Mephi and i use as well but um two of the um, two or three of the things that are really um that works for us is sensi has for my family sensi has always been a family business it was never just, I'm the consultant, I had to work the business myself. It was, Mephi had to, like, Mef, I never even forced Sensi onto Mephi. Mephi learned to um, love Sensi, and not only that, he, lo he loved the product so much, so when it came to the business side, it was whenever he was comfortable to actually share it. So one of the perks that I have as a consultant is the fact that Mephi is not afraid to share Sensi. Not only that, my my son, our son. So we, what we do is, um, we actually, to be honest, this is what we used to do last year. Not going to lie, this year we haven't even done it at all this year, and it's what August. So what I we used to do every week, not every day, but like once a week, we would actually do a product review, and I would just sit there because I actually have oh, to yeah, monitor yeah. the That's livey. Someone. Because Zayden just gets off track and he's now telling people to like, you need sense in your life, like you need to come and buy from my mom. And it was all that kind of stuff. And so um, Zayden's actually been around um, Sensi since he was born. So that's how long we've been buying Sensi for. He's now six. Zayden, so Zayden knows a lot about Sensi. For me personally, um, he actually brings in a lot of sales for us. And people love seeing cute kids on a screen talking about Sensi, whether they know a lot or little, but for my son, I'm not even going to lie, he actually schools me on the liveies. And it's got to the point where every time, <laughs> every time I, I do go live, this was last year, my customers used to say, like, they're now commenting on the lives like, where's Zayden? And I was like, I feel like I'm not good enough for these product reviews anymore because they're always asking for my son. Sorry, sorry, but the reason... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I think Jenny's just um, getting a dance ready for us after the Zoom. Anyways, um, I found... Because he does get sidetracked a little, um, I found that we got... We were now getting a lot of sales from Zayden. And so... Now I don't even I don't even stop him from grabbing my phone, my Instagram, my Facebook is actually attached to his iPad. I sometimes have to monitor it because like I could be at, uh, like walking around the house doing work without a bra or something, and he's now like recording. You know what I mean? But he now like he always says, "Mom, can I go and post something?" And I'm like, "Okay." Like he would come into my office, he would record me, I mean, he would record himself changing the waxes or something. And I found that it actually brought us a lot of sales because let's be honest, people love seeing kids talk. And so 
that that's one of our um, perks. And another thing um, for me personally is attraction marketing. Um, yes, I, I, I said to, um, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know if Sensi teaches attraction marketing a lot, but for me personally, I teach my girls attraction marketing <coughs> a lot. So, sorry, excuse me. So okay. when I say like attraction, no, I'm coughing. So when I say attraction marketing, people are actually, you have to be, you have to be the, what's the word? You have to be the product. Is that right? You, you have to be, <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to, like, you have to use all the, the sensi in your home in order for people yeah. to actually buy it off you. Let's yeah. be honest. If you're now like putting up flyers from the marketing tab and like sharing so and so and you don't even use it in your home like you yeah. can't do that you know what i mean so attraction marketing for me is huge this is where we get a lot of our pws orders um via stories um sharing your life to be honest half of the time um people are like oh I i've never tried sensi i have heard of it but it it just looks nice in your house and I'm like, oh, okay then. So I can send them a link um, or I can, I'll can, i send them a sample pack. Um, another thing is, so traction marketing, get your kids in front of the camera to share Sensi. Um, what else was I talking about? And not only that, utilizing free apps in the app store. I'm not even kidding. In the past mm. month, honestly, people, for those that know me, Bob and Jenny, I'm not, not tech savvy at all but i spend hours trying to learn how to do fancy stories because when you think when you think about it people are now watching you and when you go and watch it yourself you're like is that very attractive like you people are, are not like when i go and watch something i'm like oh it looks funny like it's people people want people are attracted to not so much not as not only your lifestyle but how you actually advertise products how you use it in your home so it doesn't even have to be a pretty picture whether your house is messy and you've got like a scentsy fresh smack bang in the middle take a photo put up some music behind it use um, a free app on your app store make it all like funny so it's like the photos like flying in and then music in the background um that's where for me personally i don't really make a lot of prv from mystery bags but one of the things that actually draws a lot of people to my mystery bags um it wasn't it wasn't actually sensi it was my wrapping um a lot of people have asked me like you need to give lessons about wrapping i and i said i'm not going to take credit for it because this is from like my mom and my grandma and so i'm just glad that i inherited that but i'm not even kidding the amount of people that have actually like our customers they actually bought Sensi because they liked my wrapping and so when you do put a lot of love into um into your orders into your um mystery bags um that's also another way that we have actually built our customer base one more thing i promise one more thing and then i'm gone is i actually haven't done this this year at all i did it all last year was a referral program so every this was how we built our customer base as a referral program it was it was nothing big it was something extra so every time a customer actually referred someone to us and they placed an order i then actually this person that actually referred them when they actually placed another order with us i actually got a scent circle i got like a little cute gift card thing and i just read a note on it and so this person realized now that she was she got this the sense circle for free and to, it, it to her it was big like but it's it doesn't actually first we used to just i used to actually just give like a box of chocolate and just like a little thank you card and she was like oh what was that for and i said oh those two ladies that you sent my way they actually placed an order and then it happened so forth and so forth and so like i said it doesn't have to be anything big and you don't have to break the bank because I use scent circles all the time. So for me, happy mail, um, referral program, 
traction marketing and getting your kids in front of the camera. I'm not even kidding. They bring in a lot of sales. So what if they don't know a lot about the sensory products? Get them in front of the in front of the camera, ha holding a scent circle or spraying a, a room spray. But other than that, honestly, I didn't even prep for this. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, we if work, you didn't, we work better when it's fluke, right? <laughs> I know, right? I I did not even plan. I came to Jenny's house and I was like, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So. That that's that's all I have to share today. If anyone does have any questions, pop it in the um in the comments. But I hope you guys learned something from Jenny and I today. And if nothing you took back tonight worked, then maybe um you need to come over. <laughs> Physically we need a talk. <laughs> oh, was that it? Are we still on thing? Thanks, girls. Yeah, oh, yeah. we can still hear everything you're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So I think one of the things that um, has come up quite a bit and something that I think we all oh need to gosh. be a bit more aware of, I think it's our screen, is, um, yeah. is that one thing that a lot, uh, the three ladies said was, you know, well, probably more Pua and Jenny kind of said it because um, we know that Bubba's got quite an organized system is that they didn't know what they were talking about. And what happens is when you get to the point where you're working your system all the time, it basically gets to the point where it's natural. Like you don't even have to think about it. You know, you know, boom, 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 what needs to get done and you just get it done. Because um, systems form habits. Yeah, systems form habits. And that's what you're creating is some kind of habit in your business that you're being intentional every single day. And you're doing the things that's going to get you the PRV. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over my system. Um, mine, I've kind of refined it over time. Um, I've tried things. I've taken things off. I've put things back on. But basically, I have a daily, weekly, and monthly system. My daily, so I get this done every single day, is Amy. Um, I post on my stories and I post on social media. So if I don't get anything else done for my business, I make sure that every single day, those three things are getting done. And so when I think about stories, it's um, unboxing product reviews, like Pua said, um, you know, what I'm using in my home, um, you know, how I'm cleaning something, something in my life, I try and share about sensing in there, whether it's, you know, feeling a lot of joy because of my business, um, you know, how it's kind of blessed me having someone, you know, having a sick kid at home um, and how I'm able to do that without having to call in sick at work. Like I will share something every single day with my customers. My weekly list of things that needs to get done is every Tuesday. I found that for me, if I didn't have, you know, a particular day that I did things, I just got lazy or I wouldn't get it done um, or I just wasn't being intentional. So every Tuesday, I, a newsletter goes out. And I know it's old school and you're probably thinking, who reads newsletters? Think of all the text messages and newsletters that you get on like a Friday afternoon from Pizza Hut. I know you'll get them. And Domino's, um, and Domino's, Domino's at like three, so four o'clock in the afternoons on Fridays to give you their specials. It is important that you do it because it's still a very, um, you know, valid um, way of getting, you know, deals and their pe people's businesses out there. So newsletters, I actually sent out a newsletter today. It took me five minutes and I got two PWS orders within, I think it was about, you know, a couple of hours um, from the newsletter from pretty much doing nothing, but putting a, a couple of minutes. It takes like, there's no writing, there's no text. It's all just pictures and sending them back to my PWS. Um, I also, um, so I did this a lot before COVID and I'm starting to do it a lot more now that things are starting to ease up. But I visit one to five businesses a week and I organize fundraisers, I organize pop-up shops, especially coming into Christmas. I will probably have like a pop-up shop at people's businesses at least twice a week. And those are generally the two days that my son, my youngest son is at kindy. Um, and I'll do pop-up shops at people's businesses where I go with a display and I collect orders um, either with the staff members or people coming in and out of the work um, out of that particular like workplace. Um, so I like to do fundraisers, I like to do baskets, I like to do parties like during the lunch hour with people at their workplace. And I find that this is a really good way 
because not only am I hitting up the employees, but I'm also getting, you know, their friends and families. And I will get a lot of party bookings that way is by going to a workplace and doing some kind of party will then be like, hey, why don't I have a party from all my friends and family um, and some of the work people that were, wasn't here today. And I find that that works really well for me, especially coming into Christmas. People, businesses love having lunchtime parties. And then they also like the excuse of getting together and doing shopping outside of the workplace. Um, so I did a kindy, I went and hit up a kindy and they all came to a party and I had a really successful party um, just last month. Um, and again, it was because of what visiting a workplace. Um, I have been starting to do warmer of the week as well, where I highlight one particular warmer. Um, I think I've shared this with you. I'm sure I've shared this with you guys, but to, for a customer to actually purchase of social media, they need to be exposed to something over 20 times. So a particular warmer, let's just say that you really want to sell a warmer, sharing it once on social media is not going to get you across the line, is not going to close that sale. For you to get someone to purchase that particular warmer or purchase that particular product, they need to be exposed to it 20 times. So back, like I think it was like 10 years ago, it used to be only three times on social media that they had to be exposed. Now they have to be exposed to something 20 times. So if you look at the, what you're sharing on, um, you know, on your feed, on your stories, if you're not sharing Sensi every single day, where's your 20 times going to come from? So you need to be aware of how much you're sharing. Um, and I'm not sharing like, you know, like uh, as one of the girls said, like it's not just about flyers, you know, straight up on your stories. It's about showing, you know, how you're using the particular products in your life. Um, you need to share it like a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I was able to sell quite a few of the Himalayan salt warmer, but because I made it the warmer of the week, I shared it every single day, different types of pictures of it. Um, and it just helped that the Americans all had, you know, pictures of it that I could kind of take of social media. But I was able to share different pictures all day, every day for a whole week. Um, and that was able, I was able to really close some sales that way. <laughs> the other thing that I've started doing is, um, which I wanted to do a bit more before COVID, but then my plan switched because one of the things that I wanted to do was I started a blog back at the beginning of the year. And my goal was to actually share you know, all the fun free things around the area. And I wanted that to be able to grow and, you know, build some kind of like audience that was completely different to what I was reaching. And then obviously COVID hit and then it just like totally, I was like, what am I going to do with this like idea that I had for the year to, you know, you know, reach out and build my audience on social media. And so I've decided to, I finally came up with like my new plan on how I'm going to do it and execute it. Um, but blog, blog posts. Um, I was able to, I shared a blog post yesterday about um, Father's Day gifts. Of course, I had Sensi in there, but I had other, other local businesses and they've all shared, um, you know, my blog posts and stories about them um, and my own business with other people with, the, their, with their audience. Um, and so that was be, that would help, uh, that's been able to help me reach more people um, throughout the day. So, Blog posts by linking and partnerships with other businesses is really important. And all that takes is relationship building. And so if you're not really great at relationship building, that's okay. I wasn't either. Okay. I didn't talk to anyone before Sensi. And so if you're sitting there going, I'm, there's no way I could talk to a business. There's no way that I could build relationships with other people. You can. Okay. If I can do it, anyone can. Now think outside the box. Like who do you know right now? on your friends list that has a business. Now, I'm not thinking direct sales. Think, you know, who's a real estate agent? Who is a, a floor sanding person? Who is someone that has, that's just started a dress business or has a nail salon at, you know, that they just started at their home or is the lash lady? Um, now think about your friends and you might have not have bought anything from them. That's fine but you're going to start building relationships with them because guess what? They have a completely different audience that, that you have that might particularly like the same things as you. And so you need to find ways to be able to, um, you know, reach their audience. But the only way that's going to happen if it, it is, if, if, if it ugh, is, 
<laughs> a give give situation so you can't take 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 from them you have to give back to them as well um and so um initiating you know like for instance example the blog post initiating my um i actually went and bought all of the things that's on the blog post and then i shared it so andrew knows now what he's getting for father's day you're welcome but that's only um, some of the things there's a big way bigger present coming <laughs> there's not but it's gonna be huge. <laughs> um but being able to you know initiate that and you know tag and take the like the lead on that was able to build up more conversations with other businesses that you know with those businesses that is going to then form into other things down the track you know coming into christmas they're going to you know we can do things together with these other businesses as i form relationships with them um and then the other thing that i do weekly so this is all weekly things is um i try to have five new conversations with new people so it doesn't necessarily have to be completely new people but it will be like people that i meet while i'm out and about i add them on my phone on facebook like instantly like some of my best customers that comes to my open houses are people that i've met at the park while i was sitting there waiting for odin um so i will have try and have five new conversations sometimes it's with complete randoms Sometimes it's with people that I haven't quite like invested a lot of time with, but I've always wanted to get to know them. And I just, you know, just, you know, I don't know, like one of the kindy teachers that I just never get to have a chat with. Um, and then the other person, like in that five um, people category is also reaching out to people that I haven't seen, but that I might be friends with on social media, but I haven't kind of seen anything from them for a while. And then I try and reconnect with them. Um, and I, it's got nothing to do with Sensi. I just connect and build relationships with five new people every single week um, that I'm already friends with or that, you know, I meet along the way. And then monthly, so this is, so I went daily, that was weekly. And monthly, what I try to do is a mystery bag, which is something that seems to be something that a lot of people do. Do you know what I love about when Cindy talks? She gets on the biggest roll. She like chokes herself nearly. She like <laughs> runs choke. out of like air. And like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, mystery bag. I'm trying to keep it down to nine o'clock, one hour. Um, and then um, follow up text, you guys, uh, Amy. I actually do follow up text to all of my customers using a program called, Hit, uh, not a program, um, an app called Hit em Up. Um, it's for iPhones only. I'm not 100% sure on what the program or the similar program is on Samsung, but I can literally send out like six, 700, six, 700 texts, six to 700 text, six to 700 text messages um, in like, 30 minutes while I watch Netflix series to all of my customers. So I use that when there's a new release coming out that I want to just like bulk text people. And then I use Amy every single day to build relationships and proper follow up. So that's my two different types of follow ups that I do use. So I do reach out to every single one of my customers once a month at least. Um, and then um, party hosts, I try to get a minimum of, minimum of four, so one a week, whether that's basket, online, or um, face to face. Face to face is still my most beneficial party that I can, that I've done. Um, I just find that I do so much better at face to face parties. I think because I'm there and I'm able to, you know, you know, upsell or I'm able to bundle things or I'm able to really share about the products um, that I have a bit more, I have more success with it. So I'm really excited that we're able to do those again because that's a really big way that I've always grown my business and I'll continue to grow it. Um, but I do also do a lot of online sales. Um, and then, um, the other thing that I do once a month is I do have a themed open house at my house monthly. And the other thing that I do is so I do one in person open house. And then the other thing I do is I do a monthly themed online party for people that can't make it. Cause I do have customers interstate or further away from me. So those are the things that I do do. And they actually, I count those as um, two of my full parties as well. Um, because I do have a lot of customers that will just kind of reorder, but that's it from me. I don't know if there's any other so questions. Something that I've taken away from tonight. So I'm probably like a lot of you. I don't want to say that actually. So I'm a little bit more removed from the day-to-day -day running sales side of the business, right? Yeah. I'm an outsider looking in a lot of the time. 
and even tonight, just listening to what you guys have been saying, what I've heard is a lot of things, right? You guys do a lot of things, all of you. Um, and for me, that's the big difference. Like, so we've shared a few times now when we had that, it's stuck with me ever since we had it, this training with Jason Harwood, where he said that if you're doing things and you're not getting the results that you want, you're either doing the wrong things or you're not doing enough of the right things. And what we've heard tonight is a long, long list, which I hope you've all been taking notes of, of the right things to do in your business to get sales. Because the people that have spoken to us tonight have all been successful um, month to month in getting big PRV. And so if you can just do pick five of these things, pick one of these things and do more of it. And just like if, the more that you do consistently, the more successful you'll be. That's the bottom line. And I think something to think about and keep in mind, because I think there's a lot of comparison that happens quite a bit in our businesses is that, um, if you talk to anyone, any one of us, you know, Jenny, Pua or Baba, and even Lolo, if you want to ask her at another time, I bet you if you ask them what their PRV was in the first couple of months of their businesses, it wasn't 2000. It wasn't monthly sales, unless it was. Unless you're but I awesome. really don't think it was. I don't know. They can say, they can put it in the comments or they can speak up. But even if want, it was, like, most of us, now. most of us, yeah, it's grown. It's grown over time. We've built a customer base. We've built a foundation. We've gone through the hardship of where the heck am I going to get my PRE from? Where am I going to get parties from? You've done who the else wrong am things. I going to? Yeah. Who else am I going to meet? How am I going to get new people? You know, who else is going to buy off me? I feel like I've everyone's joined. Who am I going to recruit? How am I going to get on this trip again? And we've been through all of those things. But what Andrew was saying is true: is that we've been consistent in those things. We've never given up. We push through, we cry, we get frustrated, we pull our hair out, we yell at our husbands a little bit and then we pick ourselves up again, we put our big girl panties on and we just keep working because, you know, at the end of the day, we know what's gotten us here and we know how to continue to do that. And if you are trying these things, you know honestly whether or not you are trying these properly and you know whether or not you are doing these things that we've shared tonight without you know, any excuses and without any kind of limitations on yourself. And if you know that you've actually done these things and you are not growing, you need to reach out to one of your SSDs and you need to figure out what you're doing wrong because there's something happening wrong that you're doing if you're not getting the results. If you're not getting the PRV that you want right now, there's something that's wrong and you need to get training from your SSD to be able to get the results that you're looking for. Or your director or your sponsor. Oh, your director or your sponsor. <laughs> yes. That's um, I was going to say something else. The other thing that we hear a lot is like, uh, so if you think about that list, right, there's a huge difference between the list of things that we've heard tonight versus I've spoken to everyone to see if they want to have a party. Like, there are people... I'm going to, to give you a truth, bro. Uh, you have not talked to everyone about having a party. Because I've been in this business for seven years and I still have not to ask every single person on my friends list on Facebook if they have had a party because I'm chicken. <laughs> like I am scared. I get uncomfortable just like you and you have, you have it. You just have it. Um, and you just need to get past whatever it is that's stopping you from moving forward in your business, whether it's your mindset, whether it's, you know, you haven't tried everything because I haven't tried everything. And so, do you know what else? Even if you have contacted everyone that you know, every single person and asked them to have a party, that's one of the activities that you can do to get PRV. Yeah. So good if you have, but have you done every other thing that was mentioned tonight? And I can almost guarantee, because each of you guys was different tonight, I can guarantee that you're probably not doing every single one of the things that was mentioned tonight. And also, like, ask everyone, like, you know, ask the, ask the girls, how many people put purchased your first mystery bag i tried mystery bags for a whole year not one person ever bought off me a whole year every single month i had a different theme every not single month you made five and said they're going like okay, quick. <laughs> no <laughs> one bought them no one bought them so all i'm saying is is we get it we get it and you just have to be more consistent and you have to tr not try harder 
you need to try it differently, try a different way, try a different method, um, because we can see you, we can see that you're trying, we can see your frustration, we can hear it in your messages, um, but you need to trust the process and you need to trust um, yourself to get past all of that. Um, and that's it from us. Um, this has been recorded and we'll put the recording up as soon as possible.